Good day from St. John's Episcopal Church in and beyond Old Town Saginaw in the Diocese of Eastern Michigan. Today is April the 14th of 2021, Wednesday in the second week of the Easter season. Today we celebrate Holy Communion. You can download your worship bulletin from the St. John's Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo sites, as well as the St. John's website. You may also follow along in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 355. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you, and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, whose most dear Son came to heal the sick, raise the dead, Cast out demons and preach the gospel to the poor. Teach us by the example of your servants Zenaida, Philomela, and Hermione to freely give even as we have freely received. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from Ecclesiasticus, or the Wisdom of Jesus, son of Sirach. Honor physicians for their services, for the Lord created them, for their gift of healing comes from the Most High, and they are reward rewarded by the King. The skill of physicians makes them distinguished, and in the presence of they are admired. The Lord created medicines out of the earth, and the sensible will not despise them. Was not water made sweet for the tree, in order that its power might be known? And he gave skill to human beings, that he might be glorified in his marvelous works. By them the physician heals and takes away pain. Pharmacist makes a mixture from them. God's works will never be finished, and from him health spreads over all the earth. My child, when you are ill, do not delay, but pray to the Lord, and he will heal you. Go, give up your faults and direct your hands rightly, and cleanse your heart from all sin. Offer this week's smelling sacrifice and a memorial portion of choice flour. And pour oil on your offering as much as you can afford. Then give the physician his place, for the Lord created him. Do not let him leave you, for you need him. There may come a time when recovery lies in the hands of physicians for they too pray to the Lord that he grant them success in diagnosis and in healing for the sake of preserving life. Here ends the reading. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 147. Praise the Lord. How good is it to sing praises to our God 
for he is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is the Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the downtrodden. He casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds, prepares rain for the earth, makes grass grow on the hills. He gives to the animals their food and to the young ravens when they cry. His delight is not in the strength of the horse, nor his pleasure in the speed of a runner. But the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him, in those who hope in his steadfast love. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he strengthens the bars of your gates. He blesses your children within you. He grants peace within your borders. He fills you with the finest of wheat. He sends out his command to the earth. His word runs swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters frost like ashes. He hurls down hail like crumbs who can stand before his cold. He sends out his word and melts them. He makes his wind blow and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and ordinances to Israel. He has not dealt with any other nation. They do not know his ordinance. Praise the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons. And the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons. And he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. Let us proclaim our faith using the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people for today are according to Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we, that we all, all may be one. one. Grant that every member of the Church may truly and humbly serve you, that your, that your name, name may be glorified by all people. people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that, that they, they may be delivered, delivered from their, their distress. distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let, Let light, light perpetual shine, shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May, may we, we also, also come to share in your, in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. In the St. John's family, we pray for the repose of the soul of Rod Shoemaker and Gail. We pray also for Susan, Bill, Mary Kay, Mike, Al and Jane, Sharon, David and Nanette, Rod, Ted, Ida, and all of our ministries the Vestry, the Altar Guild, the Building and Grounds Ministry, our children's youth and family ministries, the choir, the Shared Ministry Development Team, the Finance Ministry, for Al, Amy, Kevin, Reverend Pam, and Father Kurt. In the Anglican Communion, we pray for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, the Standing Committee of the Diocese of Eastern Michigan, and Skip, our assisting bishop. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we remember today the Diocese of Biharamolo, the Anglican Church of Tanzania. Locally, we pray for our fellow Episcopalians at St. Matthew's and St. Paul's, as well as our individual and collective efforts to end food insecurity in Saginaw. We also pray for our partners in Interfaith Saginaw. Almighty and everlasting God, who in the Paschal Mystery established the new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they profess by their faith through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. 
We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. Because you have created all things. And by your will they were created and have their being. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you, for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me.
After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let, let us keep the feast. feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. With those worshiping online, we now pray. In union, blessed Jesus, with the faithful gathered at every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are offered this day, I long to offer praise and thanksgiving for creation and all the blessings of this life, for the redemption won for us by your life, death, and resurrection, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life until by your grace I come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The peace of God which surpasses all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.